my little chunky baby ain't really chunky anymore and it makes me so fat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got my fries. Like what if I was someone else? That lady didn't know me. She didn't know my story. She didn't know anything about, about what had happened five minutes prior to that. Good morning, y'all. Long time, no vlog. Hopping on here. I am wanted to just go ahead and kick off this vlog right now and while I have a few minutes of peace and quiet before Olivia and Dion get back because when Olivia's here, it's like, it's like a madhouse. So I'm like kicking off the vlog. Wow, it's a little bit quiet. So I feel like I have not done like a sit down, or not a sit down video. I feel like I haven't done like a really like chill vlog um, in a while. And today I woke up like I actually had time. So Dion took Olivia with him to the gym. He actually has to work um, a couple hours today. So he went ahead and took her with him to the gym. They have like a little, like a like a kids section. So he took her with him to the gym. So I can kind of get a couple, you know, a little bit of time to like hop in the shower, get myself together and all that. Cause like showering and like doing all that with Olivia now is like so much more difficult, especially now that she is walking. I have, I, Y'all have so many updates to give y'all, but one of the biggest things that has changed since the last vlog is that Olivia is like walking now. I can like wash my face and stuff like that with her, like get dressed with her, but like showering, like I don't like to rush my shower, so like taking my time and all that is so much more difficult <laughs> with her. So fortunately he took her with him. I always feel good when I like actually have time to like pull myself together. And, by, and it could be anything from like, like I said, brushing my hair, laying my little edges y'all know i love my little swoops so like if i have time to do that and like actually put like a decent outfit <laughs> it's gonna be a good day so yeah so that's where they are our house i feel like is a wreck <laughs> i feel like there's just like stuff you know how when you especially like now that she's getting older and all that and a lot more mobile and all that i just feel like our house is like in a constant state of like <laughs> chaos almost to the point where like there's just like always stuff everywhere that's one of the good things about the weekends is that i can like have time to like put because you know like the stuff accumulates throughout the week and all that kind of just throw stuff down and everything so i want to try to like get some stuff put away make myself some coffee i need to do that and oh i have a lot of laundry to fold y'all like a lot between my stuff and olivia's like so that's really bad but i am feeling good so this vlog is going to be kind of like a spend the weekend with us. I haven't really, I mean, obviously I haven't been really been blogging and posting videos and stuff on here, um, which I am trying to, I know I always say that, y'all. I know I always say I'm trying to get back in the habit of posting videos, all that. But I will say that I am trying out an editor right now to help me edit the videos. So fingers crossed, all goes well. And um, if that works out, it should really um, improve the consistency with the videos on YouTube. Because I said it before, and I'll say it again, recording videos is the easy part. The editing is the hard part, especially now that I have a one-year-old. So, yeah. But all I to say, I have lots and lots of updates, y'all. Like, a lot. <laughs> So real quick, because I don't want to spend too much time talking about it now because I have to go run, get some of the stuff done in the kitchen before they get back. But I'll do a quick little Olivia update because I feel like you guys are always wanting to kind of hear like what's going on with her. Y'all will see her. Like homegirl. Me and we were like just this morning when um, Dion was getting her dressed and like he like she was standing up in the bathroom and me and Dion are both like, this girl is, first of all, she's like slimming out. Yeah, like, y'all, y'all know my little chunky baby. My little chunky baby ain't really chunky anymore and it makes me so sad. It makes me so sad. Like Olivia is like sprouting upwards. The girl is so tall. Like we don't know where she gets, well, we have an idea. Dion's side of the family is very tall. Dion's actually like the shortest person in his entire family. So we think that she's pulling from his genetics because our girl is like the size of a, like Olivia has a cousin that's a year older than her and they're, pretty much, they're the same height, like. <laughs> Or like right at about the same height. The biggest update with her, y'all, is she is walking. She is walking. But listen, y'all, she's just starting and she's already giving us her front money. One of the things that we need to do this weekend is to baby proof the house because it is not. And so like Olivia just goes straight for cabinets. Like she's so curious, so she just wants to open everything up. The other night I was washing dishes. I think it was like on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm washing dishes. Olivia's like walking around and like she comes to like the cabinet nearby me. Like she she reaches in there. 
pulls out like the little container that has all of like the trash bags, you know, that we use for the trash can. Um, it's, it was they're all clean, obviously, but like she like took the box of like trash bags out and like is like going through and like taking all the trash bags. And I'm sitting there, I'm I, I thought it was the cutest thing actually. So I was sitting there watching her and I was like, girl, you do you, you go to town because that entertained her enough for me to be able to clean up the entire kitchen and wash dishes. So with her, I'm learning to like pick my battles with her. So like sometimes I'm just like, girl, just do you, <laughs> just do you. So that's been fun. Um, her little personality is so big. It's getting so big and she's just so full of like energy. She's just so happy. She's so silly, um, but she's also very dramatic. Listen, like Olivia is very much me and Dion's child. Okay, very dramatic. <laughs> oh, hey girl. Are you ready for your green drink? Hi mama, oh you got a juice? Daddy got you a juice? Oh, say hey girl. You wanna say hi to the vloggy vlog? Oh, you trying to vlog, you trying to show off? Ooh. <laughs> hi pumpkin. Mama. Yeah, dad, dad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got you, I got you. Hi pumpkin, you look so cute. With your little runny nose, it's okay. It's not really runny, it's like a little crusty though. Oh, you got the green juice? Here. You want to say hi to the vlog? Say hi, vloggy vlog. <laughs> say hi. Say my name's Olivia, I'm one years old. Say I'm getting so big. Say look how tall I am. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hold it, mama. <laughs> Y'all, every time she sees a phone or a camera, she goes, ah! <laughs> Yeah. Say hello. How'd she do at the gym, babe? She did good. Oh, you did high five, mama. Yay. <laughs> so you were a good girl for dada at the gym? Yeah. Oh, another thing about Olivia is that she, because of everything going on, like with her teeth and her just not feeling the best, she has pretty much been protesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She has been pretty much protesting. I call it protesting. <laughs> protesting. Listen, here, get up, mama. Oh, there you go. There you go. Woo, where are you going? She has been like protesting mealtime. So when it comes to like breakfast, she normally has obviously lunch at school, but like for breakfast and dinner here, she doesn't want to eat. Like literally, she doesn't really want to eat anything. All she really wants is um, fruit. Like, but like her stuff with substance, she doesn't really want to eat. Like anything. <laughs> so that has been tricky. And so when it comes to like vegetables and stuff like that, she hasn't really wanted that either. So the other day, I was like, you know what? Like, let me give her some of my, cause I, I made like a, like a green juice at the end of the week. And I was like, you know what? Like, let me just, you know, give her like the green juice, you know, like, to see if she, oh, here you go, mama. Hey. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So the other day I was like, you know what? Like, let me just go ahead and give her some of my green juices. The green juice that I make, it has fruits and vegetables in it, but it has like a really, really, really good amount of vegetables. It has like broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, and spinach in it. And I was like, let me go ahead and just give her some of my green juice to see like if she'll do that. And it was a hit. <laughs> Drunk all of it. Like literally she was tearing it up because also my recipe is actually pretty good. I guess it's Dion's recipe. I, just, I have just tweaked it to make it taste even better. So it was a hit. Say so the green juice was a hit. I love Tommy's green juice. And I was like, okay, well, this is we're gonna have to be doing pretty much until she gets to the point to where she's back into her regular routine of, you know, where she's feeling, her gums are not swollen anymore. She can like really eat her food the way that she normally does. That's really been the issue is like the swollen gums and making sure that everything's like soft, super, super, super soft and all of that. And also like she just, her appetite hasn't, just hasn't been the way it normally is. Do we like it, mama? Yeah. Say bye bye. So yeah, that is where we are with that. So if I have any moms out there who are struggling with getting their kids to eat, um, like the little ones to eat vegetables, or like they just like aren't really having much of an appetite because of like teething, or they just aren't, you know, they're just sick or whatever it may be. That is very normal. Um, but try juicing. Anyways, y'all. Let me get this kitchen together. Y'all see I have dishes and stuff everywhere because I have a lot of laundry to do. So one of the other things I have to do with Olivia today, when Dia goes to work, is I need to take her to the mall. Probably go to the, either the mall or try, Olivia! This is why we have the baby, the girl, she's, why she's halfway up the stairs? No, come back down. Now we smiling. 
Don't be, she thinks it's so funny. Yay, thank you, mama, good job. So we so appreciate, okay, no, 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 yeah, there we go, thank you. Sorry, y'all, I keep being sidetracked, okay. What I was saying is that I need to take Olivia to probably a Target, like the mall, a couple stores we need to go to, um, because she needs cold weather clothes. Like today in Houston, it's like, it's so cold, which we could use some cold weather because the past week it has been like the high 80s. It's actually been very hot here um, for early November. Well, this is probably normal, but it's it's hot, especially since it's like the holiday season. Like, you know, you want it to kind of feel, the weather makes it feel more festive. Um, and so anyways, like earlier this week, it's pretty much been 80s all week. So last night we had a cold front come through, which was great. Um, but it, it's like really cool. Like right now, it's 10 o'clock and it's 48 degrees. And when I say really cold, I mean for Texas. Okay. <laughs> for Houston specifically, that is cold. So long story short, I need to get her some winter clothes um, because she doesn't really have any. And so like she needs a, like a really good quality jacket, like some long sleeve shirts and pants and things like that. Like the outfit she has on today is pretty much like the only like cold weather like outfit she has. So I just gonna find her some stuff like that. Um, Paul has also ordered some stuff on Amazon too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. May take you guys along for that. If I, you know, fit in the how she acts, and we may or may not have time to vlog the camera, or may not, I may not have time to vlog or we're out, but I'll try to get through um, that. And then um, whenever Dion gets back, my plan is to go get my nails done. My nails are so overgrown, you can't really tell because of the way they're done. But my nails are completely overgrown. This one here is broken. This one here is broken. Let me finish putting this stuff away. And then you and mommy are gonna go to the mall. Or to the store and still get you some clothes. What else do you want? Oh, your juice? You want another grape or some more juice? Woo so, made it out the house. Olivia is back there, knocked out. Literally, as I was putting her in the car, I was like, I bet you're gonna fall asleep the second that I drive off and lo and behold, I didn't even make it out the neighborhood and Olivia was knocked out. <laughs> so that's actually good timing because she'll be able to get like in like a, well, our destination isn't too far from where we're going. I probably will have to sit in the parking lot um, for like, you know what actually, since she's asleep and I didn't eat breakfast, I probably will just pull over somewhere and just eat something real quick in my car while she's napping. Um, before we get to the mall. We're going to the mall, I think I mentioned this earlier. Going to the mall to find, well, going to the mall and Target to find Olivia some um, some clothes um, for this cooler weather. And I don't think I've mentioned this already yet, but um, we are actually doing a super fun family trip for Thanksgiving, which I literally, y'all y'all have no idea how excited I am for this trip. We're going to my favorite place, um, and this time with the whole squad. Um, and so I'm just like so excited, like excited to be there for like the holiday season and like, oh, it's gonna be like such a vibe. Like it's gonna like literally give me all the feels. <laughs> and I, I seriously cannot wait. So yeah, so long story short, I need to just get him, get him some clothes for some cold weather. Um, so we're gonna do that. But like I said, I may actually just pull over here um, and get something to eat. So that way she can get in like a good, I want her to get in like a good 30 minute nap. Um, so I don't want her to sleep too long, but I need her to sleep long enough so that whenever we get up in here, she won't, <laughs> she won't give me too hard of a time. I haven't eaten all I've had today this cup of coffee which is like literally getting me through this morning Olivia was up at seven on the dot today not to mention that she had Dion up last night fortunately he took that shift because he said that she Olivia does this thing like and I feel like she really only does with Dion I don't know why but like whenever he like he'll like soothe her back to sleep and like whenever um he goes to put her down Olivia pops right back up like so he said that he tried several times to put her down and she wasn't having it. So like they just went and laid um, down upstairs. <laughs> and so I'm glad that it was him and not me. But the coffee is very much needed because of how like it's only it's not even 12 o'clock yet and it's already been a long day. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. I'm very grateful. Can't complain. Um, I love my life, y'all. I, I truly, y'all ever have those moments where you're like, dang, like I love my life. 
Like even when it isn't like, it's a little more stressful than you'd like it to be. You're a little more tired than you wanna be. Things are a little bit more chaotic than you want them to be, but you're still like, God, like I'm so grateful. Like I'm so grateful for my life. I'm so grateful for my family. Like that's just literally, I literally wake up every day like that. Like I'm just so thankful. So anyways, I'm not sitting here actually in the McDonald's line. I just feel like McDonald's fries sound so good. I know they're not the healthiest, but Mickey D's fries sound so good. I always request fresh hot fries. Sometimes they give me a hard, well, depending on where I am, some places, some McDonald's will give me a hard time. If I ask for fresh hot fries, they do it anyways, but they give me a hard time. Um, or they act like it's, like I'm giving them a hard time, if that makes sense. Um, like that's like too much to ask but I always get it anyways. Um, and that sounds good. So, I'm about to order this, sit here, eat, and then go shopping with little mama. Actually, you know, by the time you get to the mall, Dion may actually be finishing up at work. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes. Please, Yes, and then I had asked for fresh hot fries. And sour sauce, please. Yes. How many I'm gonna get two. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I got my fries. Ooh. I know these fries are not good for you, but it is hit different. So we are in H&M um, trying to find some stuff for Olivia. I did find um, what I think is going to be good for her. I found like these like long pool like bodysuit type things. Um, it's in a size 2T, but I feel like it won't be too bad um, for her. She's using size 18 month now. So here's the pink one. Yeah, mama. Hold on. So there's the pink one. Hold on. And then here is this like tan one. I feel like it'll be perfect. Um, it's gonna keep her warm. And it has a hood and everything. So that'll be good for her. Back home from the mall. Oh, this one, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna insert a clip here of Olivia on, what's it called? Mirror. The merry-go-round. She went on the merry-go-round for that oh, first time today. That's what I'm trying to think about. It's a carousel, yeah, you're right. It's the same thing. Yeah. So she went on, like they had a little carousel at the mall. Um, and so anyway, so she wrote on that today. It was so cute. I'll be, <laughs> she was like this, <laughs> you know, she's just very dramatic. She yeah, she just, she, she was like throwing herself back and forth as if like she was like really riding a, riding a horse like this, but she literally loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because y'all talking about you, huh? Yeah, so she did that today, which was so cute. And we had a successful shopping trip for her. I'm so glad Dion got off work a little early and was able to meet us at the mall because whenever we first got there, Olivia was like not in the best mood. And so I called Dion and I was like, at, at first I had told him like, to don't worry about coming to join us. Cause um, I was like, oh no, like we got it. Like, don't worry. Like you can go home and rest and do your own thing. But then after we got in the mall and I kind of saw how Olivia was, where it was headed. I called Dion and I was like, babe, like hopefully she aren't too far from the mall. Cause if you're, if you're close by the mall, can you just swing by here and come join us for a little shopping trip? Because I knew I wouldn't be able to get a lot done and be as productive if it was just me and her. So fortunately he came and joined us uh, because I was able to get a lot more done with him there. Uh, <laughs> Which I'm gonna do a quick little haul really, really quickly because I got some really cute stuff from, I mainly went to H&M and, oh shoot, I didn't go to Oshkosh. Um, or Carter's, same thing. I think it's like the same thing. Whatever, I didn't go there. I did mean to go there. Actually, you know what? I have to go back uh, next week anyways to find myself some clothes for our trip. But like whenever we were in there, I was like, let me just hook on Olivia because there's no way that she will last for me to shop for both of us. So I was like, let me just go ahead and just focus on her, get her stuff situated. Because I told Dion earlier when we were at the mall, I'm like, my plan is to pack her suitcase and everything this week. I'm not, like we're not leaving for another like two-ish weeks, like a week, another week and a half. But I'm gonna go ahead and like have her suitcase literally down to the toiletries and everything ready to go this week. So that way her stuff is like taken care of. I just went on buying like extra toiletries so I can like have all her stuff packed up and then I she'll still have stuff to use 
until we leave. But yeah, I just went to H&M um, and the children's place. And like I said, I have to go back to go to Carter's slash Oshkosh. I'm sure it's like the same place. I think it is. I think it's that connected, I think. I did find one thing for myself. Hello. Can we do it myself, Mama? I did find like a couple, well, one thing I got in different colors for myself. So when we were at the mall, we had to cut through Forever 21 to get to the other side of the mall that we were trying to get to. And as you're walking down, as you're walking through Forever 21, I haven't been in there like forever, but as you're walking through Forever 21, um, I saw this hat. And now, mind you, I have been on the hunt for some new hats. Um, Cause the ones that I have, I don't like them. Well, the ones that I have are old. Um, I probably had them for at least like five or six years. But the reason why I don't care much for them and I plan on donating them whenever um, whenever I go through all my stuff um, this fall, winter, is because I've been looking for nice, firm, sh straight brim hats, if that makes sense. The hats that I have, they kind of have like a weird, like kind of like curl up and like the structure of the, like the hat itself isn't really structured. So I said all that to say that I was walking through virtually one and like, Looks to the side and these hats caught my eye and I end up getting three, <laughs> all neutrals, y'all know how I am. Um, but I end up getting three different hats. Okay, here's the first one, so cute. So like a nice brown one. And I see like it's a nice like straight, mama, no, 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 these aren't for you, pumpkin. I love the color and it has like a velvet trim. Uh oh, like a brown velvet trim. So here's this one, so cute. Ah. Like, I have a bun on now, but you guys see, like, this is the vibe. So there's the brown one, and then I got this, like, really pretty cream one. This is, like, oh, so classic. So this is the cream one. I love the shape of the top, and I love how the side is, like, nice, and it's just, like, nice and straight, and it, like, doesn't have, like, a weird little curl. Um, and then I got this black one. It has this, like, gold trim on it, which I thought was also really cute. And they were all really affordable. They're, like... They were each about $25, so my order came up to like 79 or something like that, so not too bad. And then, okay, Olivia, real quick, this won't be too long. I showed you guys these in H&M, so I got her. I'm hoping that it fits. Um, I got her size 2T. Right oh, here, well, let's just see. It doesn't fit. She only fits tall. No. Just try it, just try it. She's not, just try she's it. not four tall, Kyra. Just no, it's a 2T. Olivia's in a size okay. 18 months. I said just try it. Yeah, come on. Hopefully it ain't too big. It if it is too big, if it is too it big, is too big then I may. <laughs> well, she's in a stroller. Okay. And long story short, uh, she already has I, I bought, I told him that I bought it. I plan on going on the website to try to find it um, in her actual size, like in an 18 month. Oh no, it's too big. It's okay. I'm gonna have to find that, but it's but it's not like a perfect concept for the. If you want her to just be stuck inside something, she's gonna be. No, what, no, no, no. What I'm thinking is that is that she can just have that on whenever we're walking around, and like whenever we get into like we go eat or whatever. Who go and you walk? I'm just saying, like, whenever we're outside, babe. No, no, I hear you, point. But she's gonna want to get out the stroller, run around, do everything else. I'm telling you, it needs to be something that she could. She can manage herself. Olivia. Clearly, it's too big, but I'm gonna try to find those two suits um, in her size. They're just so cute to me. So there's a pink one, and then this like brown and cream one, or tan and cream one. Okay, and then I got like some other stuff. So I got her, like this little two-piece long sleeve onesie set. It's like one's floral print, the other one's just purple. I got her some pants. Oh, these are too big too, shoot. Oh, I got this little cute Mickey Mouse and Friends two-piece set. So it just says Mickey Mouse and Friends. And then the pants, like all the characters, I thought was so cute. It's like Mickey, Mickey, Daisy, Goofy, all the, all the peeps. So got this for her. This little vest, which is so cute. Um, got this for her. I also got her this little jacket here. Love the color. Um, oh, this sweater here was so cute. 
that I thought would be perfect for cold weather. So I just love the tones. Very bright, very vibrant. Like Olivia. Personality. Oh, I got this little, like, it's like a one-piece situation. Like a jumpsuit almost. Um, I can see like with her, some boots or whatever, but it's like a really cute like sweatered, sweater jumpsuit. So then have this sweatshirt here. So it's like navy blue, floor print. I envisioned it with this vest here. Got this little, I just love like how bright and vibrant this is. So got this little two piece set here. It's obviously like very loud and vibrant, which I thought was so cute. I got this sweater, which is very much giving Christmas vibes, which I thought was so cute. So there's this. And then the last thing is this sweater here that I found for her. So again, loving the tones. Um, so that's all H&M stuff. Some of the items I did get in two sizes, just in case, you know, one of them doesn't fit. Um, and then the last thing is Children's Place. I really went in there for shoes. Like I got, I have on the hunt for some little boots for Olivia and I finally found them at Children's Place. So I got these here, <laughs> so cute. And so I got them in brown and black. And they were like $16 on sale today. So I got her these. I also got her some, just some jeans cause she can always use some. And then I got her some pajamas, especially now that she's like in like big girl pajamas now. So I got her this set, it's very cute. She actually put this on tonight, <laughs> being honest. She'll probably put this on um, tonight. Oh, I got these for my niece. This is like not Olivia's, obviously. This is like for my niece. I thought these were really cute. I know Valerie is going to love these. Um, and then I got these Christmas PJs for my baby, obviously. So I got her these like Noel. It just says like Noel, Merry Christmas, Holly Jolly, Joy. So cute, and I got her these as well. That is what I got from there. So I feel like I got did pretty good. We are in for the night, going to just hang out as a fam. Um, probably about to just turn on a Christmas movie uh, and just hang out. It feels so weird that we're not doing holiday decor this year. I'll explain why, or explain more later. Um, but this is the one way that we can now we do, that we put our Christmas tree up. So we have this like tradition where we put our Christmas tree up the second weekend in November, which will be this weekend. Um, so it feels very strange and very weird that we're not putting stuff up this year. I don't know, it feels like, it's almost, it's like a little bit of a bummer, it's almost kinda sad, but it also is for the best because we have a lot going on um, within the coming weeks and it's gonna be just too much for us. But we're going to still try to do our best to get the festive vibes going. So <laughs> I'm gonna sit here, turn on the fireplace, turn on a movie. Ooh, I may even make some hot cocoa. And especially because it's cold outside. Like I think right, it's been cold like throughout the entire day. And I feel like right now, it's supposed to be in the 30s tonight I believe. So it's gonna be cold. So I'll probably do some hot chocolate like to really get to set the vibe and get it going. And then just enjoy a night in. Olivia should be going down very soon. So once Olivia's down, then me and Yon can have some adult time. But <laughs> that is our Saturday. So I'm getting myself and ready um, and getting comfortable. I have to actually go make Olivia's dinner here in a second. Um, but I forgot to share this story, this quick little story um, of something that happened um, at the mall earlier. Um, whenever me and Dion, before Dion got there, um, something that happened at the mall earlier. So we were in H&M um, and so I mentioned to you guys about how whenever we got to the mall, I kind of saw Olivia's demeanor was a little bit, she was more on the fussy side, mostly because even moving, well not, we hadn't been moving a lot that morning, but she hadn't really had like a good, good nap. She slept about 20 minutes on the, like 20, 30 minutes on the way to the mall, but that really wasn't enough, like a, a good solid nap for her. Um, and anyways, we never really just get her good, doesn't get a good nap in, I already know what to expect, uh, and it's normal. So we were in H&M, um, and um, Olivia started getting fussy, so I gave her my phone, and I turned on um, Songs for Littles. If you guys don't know, Miss Rachel was like, listen, Miss Rachel has these babies in a chokehold because Olivia, like literally cut it on Olivia's like mesmerized. <laughs> she loves it. 
So I turned on her favorite show, like, you know, she calmed down, was chilled, just watching it. And then in the middle of her watching it, um, we were, we were, so at this point we're at the line to check out. And so in the middle of us watching it, Dion um, calls to see where we are. So I obviously had to take the phone from her to answer the phone, tell Dion where we were. And obviously, as a kid or a baby would do, it took the phone from them. So she got little, you know, she had like little, low moment. So she got like, you know, a little cranky for like maybe a minute. If that it was it was like a very it wasn't it couldn't even be a minute but honestly the amount of time that she was you know having a little moment doesn't even matter and honestly the reason why she has a moment doesn't even matter honestly that was more for context so we um anyway so Olivia has like a little little fit because I took the phone from her um and so I answered the phone for Dion whatever whatever and I gave her back the phone cool so what was interesting was because we were in the line there was a lady in front of us she was an older lady and um she obviously you know here's a you know a little person behind her you know getting a little fussy so she turns around and she's like um she's like oh someone isn't happy um so she like looks down and she sees that olivia has a phone so she's like so she's like oh she's gonna fussy over a phone how old is she and i was like um i was like a year she's like oh she's only a year old already and she's already getting um, a fussy over a phone wow and i was like and I, I i just looked at her i didn't even say anything I just looked at her and two things a the immediate response i wanted to give was not pleasant <laughs> um because she said it in a very condescending way and i'll kind of explain well, she said some more things but my immediate response it was not gonna be nice and also she had little ones with her which i ended up realizing was her grandkids so anyway she proceeds to say oh i'm 58 years old you know i have six grandkids and uh and so the fact that she you know is one year old you know a uh, 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 over a phone is is wow wow you know like she kind of like that and then like you know they called her up whatever to the front to go check out um then she walked away and she was like good luck baby good luck and it completely rubbed me the wrong way but not for the reason that you would think it wasn't that what she said got to me or like really bothered me because if you guys can't tell i'm very fortunate to be very confident as a mom in terms of like like i know i'm a, i'm doing a darn good job you know and no one can convince me otherwise but what had bothered me the most about her comment was that she didn't know me and it to me it was what if i literally had had the worst day like what if i was struggling financially what if i you know had just came home or just worked a shift I had a long day, a long morning. I, you know, was bending over backwards to my kid. My kid was, you know, giving me a hard time, you know, and I needed to, you know, give her a phone for just to, just to get a few minutes of peace and quiet. What if I had just lost someone? What if I'm just going through a hard time, like a breakup, something like that? What if I was a single mom that literally was doing everything and was trying to do the best that I could and I didn't have any support and then here you are telling, basically trying to, the way that she said it, it was, I said, it was very condescending and she said it basically insinuating that like Olivia was like spoiled or bratty or like as basically as if something was wrong with her for her reaction and also she kind of insinuated that like I was a bad mom that like here my kid is having screen time and she like was getting fussy for less than a minute because I took the phone from her it was and it's just like it, to me it, it was more so like her words didn't bother me it was more so like like what if i was someone else that lady didn't know me she didn't know my story she didn't know anything about about what had happened five minutes prior to that because something could have happened right before that you know and it it really reminded me um about how important it is to truly be cognizant of what you say in the way that you say it i don't think i genuinely don't think that she had ill intent behind it however i think it was again it was very condescending um and honestly it was uh insulting the way that she said it and i think it's very important for us to be um cautious with our words at the end of the day if you don't have nothing nice to say especially to a stranger don't say it there was literally no reason for her to open her mouth and to say what she said <laughs> It was completely unwarranted, completely unsolicited, and she literally kept it to herself. I thought like oftentimes people feel like what they say like needs to be said, or what they think needs to be said, and it's just like, uh, that's the complete opposite. Also, what was interesting to me is because she had just told me that she was 58, she had all these grandkids. So, if anything, sis, like, 
you know what having babies and dealing with babies is like. You know kids are gonna be kids, babies will be babies. Like, you know that. <laughs> so if you know that, you chose to, instead of, in, in that moment, she could have easily lended a word of encouragement, a little positive, a little positivity, a little something to brighten up my day. She know that moms be dealing with a lot, okay? And when parents deal with fussy kids, it's not pleasant for, for the parent. Like, like, like parents don't want to be out in public with their kids being cranky or fussy, but it, it is what it is. Like, kids will be kids. It's a reminder of be kind. You never know what people are going through. Fortunately, I was in a great mood when she said that, so it didn't, it just rolled on my back. Uh, what if I had a bad day? Choose your words wisely. Not everything that you think needs to come out your mouth. And honestly, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say, to, especially to a stranger. And also, to my moms out there, don't, just remember that you are killing it. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you are killing it. You are doing a damn good job. We already have a lot that we're dealing with, a lot that we're juggling. Like I said, no one, like no one wants to have their kids be fussy and cranky in public, but it is what it is. Remember that it's normal. Remember that it is okay. We also need to remember that it's easier for us to, you know, show grace and patience and, you know, lend support to parents, especially parents that are out with kids by themselves. I don't know how we don't understand this in 2022, but it can be a lot, okay? So, especially in this holiday season, like we will see a lot of parents, mostly moms, but even like dads too, but we'll see like a lot of parents out with kids, oftentimes by themselves because like, you know, like they're shopping for somebody else or whatever it may be. So like, just remember like, y'all like kids will be kids. And sometimes like, especially if you're like, if you're on a mission and you're trying to get something done and you're trying to like just like knock things out and like okay like you have an hour in the store it, hand that baby phone or that ipad or a snack or whatever it is you do you do what you need to do to get you know to like handle you make sure your kid is good and then like don't worry about other people won't just just remember that moms we're doing the best that we can with what we have and we are doing the best job at it like we are the best moms and we are doing the best that we can in the in discussion so that was just a very interesting situation people crazy y'all and also i do understand that it is a generational thing as well our our parents and grandparents came from a different generation than us i'm obviously a millennial um so the way that i parent is vastly different than or the way that i'm going to I mean, i'm still only a year in but the way that i have been parenting and i'm going to parent is vastly different than the way that my parents parented is super vastly different than the way my grandparents parented, if that makes sense. So, so not to say, moms, we're killing it. You're doing a damn good job. You are phenomenal. You're amazing. You're awesome. You got this. And other people, or even people who do have kids and that tend to be a little more judgmental or tend to, you know, side eye people with kids, like their kids may get a little fussy or whatever it is, or side people that their kids are on their iPads, whatever it is, like, Keep your opinions to yourself. Remember that you don't know their story, you don't know what's going on, X, Y, and Z. Just so patient. And if you don't have anything nice to say, or you it's bothering you, your opinion, or you, or you are opinionated about the situation, keep your opinions up here. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Anyways, let me go ahead and go make this girl her dinner. Real quick, I hear Dion making a smoothie, so I'm assuming. Or making a juice. I'm assuming he's making her her green juice. He bought her the green juice earlier from this place that he always goes to. Um, but he had added some pro. They I don't know if he added it in or if they accidentally added it in. But it had protein in it, and Olivia does not like it. So we have to make hers. Like so, we now know um, to make hers at home from scratch. Oh, what's that smell? Is that the candle? Oh, do you know what you should got? Cookies. The Christmas cookies. The, you know, the ones with the prints. So we could have made some. Cause it's cold, it has the vibe. We could have had some cookies and hot chocolate. Ooh. Oh, she, was she eating some of that? And then let's see, let's save it. Is she eating it? Got some peas in it. Let's go on. At this point, we're like, look, whatever Olivia is eating, let's just give her that. I'm talking about you. She looked at me like, uh, I know you ain't said nothing about, look, there she goes. <laughs> She's like, uh, I know you ain't talking about me. I was telling the vlog earlier about the situation at um, the
the H&M. That's what you about? It happened right before Dion got there. I, I, I almost wish that it had happened when he was there because I really, would, I really am curious to have seen his reaction. Or to even see if he had, if he had tickets the same way I took it. What would you have done if he was there? She said that. I don't remember what she said. Oh. What did she say? Remember when I said that she was like, oh, she's only one year old and she's already getting that, uh, that fussy over a phone? Over a phone? Oh, no. Good luck, girl. Oh, and she said, well, you could buy her. I appreciate it. Mm -mm. I know you would say something smart. I already know you. I know for sure you would say something smart. But, okay, I'm trying to find a movie for the night. Right now, and it's on, what is this called? Four Christmases, which we've never seen. What was the movie on that was just on? I've, I've seen it before. Okay, Dion's seen this. I've never seen it before. There was one movie that was just on, and we caught like the last five minutes of it. But the last five minutes of it, me and Dion both at the same, at the same time, we said, this looks like a good movie. It was called um, The Holiday. It had, um, what's that girl name? Cameron Diaz in it. I know it's not new, it's something older. We've just never seen it before, but the last little bit that we saw, we were like, oh, this looks good. And we, we had no idea what had happened, but it, the ending of it looked good, so. I told Dion there's a new movie on Netflix, um, a new Christmas movie on Netflix um, with, oh, Lindsay Lohan. So I'm curious to see that. I hope she has like a good comeback. I know she'd have been through some things, so. Um, but we'll see. Mama, you ready to eat? Sweet.